Insomniac, and this is RVA Exclusive Blend from Blanchard's Coffee Roasting Company. So Blanchard's Coffee, I guess that's how you'd say it. I've actually never heard of this. The person I mentioned in the stats screen in the beginning was kind enough to send in two different bags from this company. It says it's made in Richmond, Virginia. Packaging simple, but not bad. In fact, compared to some of the other stuff that I've reviewed recently, uh, where it's basically just a bag and somebody printed a label and slapped it on there, this is simple, especially in terms of color scheme, where it's basically just black, white, and gray, but you can see that there's printing all over the bag. It really is basically, you know, their thing. It has their logo right on the bag. In fact, the only thing here that's a sticker is uh, where it gives you the, the series, more or less, of the coffee here on the front. So, uh, definitely not bad for packaging. So this says it's called RVA Exclusive Blend. Under that you have rich toasted almond and spice. I guess those are the uh, little bit of tasting notes they give you. Then on the rest of the bag, I was looking at it earlier, it basically just gives you information about uh, the brand and then on this side you have uh, some general kind of almost brewing instructions in picture form take a look here at the beans you see they're really oily beans dark very well oily that's the word obviously I'm looking for you can see how shiny they are there on camera all right well let's see what this smells like Okay, so this has a big, kind of meaty, very savory aroma. You're gonna think I'm completely nuts. It reminds me of beef stew, with an emphasis on the beef and carrots. Carrots, specifically. I'm getting a lot of carrot, but it kind of, I mean, it kind of smells like there's a little bit of a hint of everything in there. The potatoes, the broth, the vegetable type aromas. That's just weird. And no, I have not had stew in a long time. So it's not like I just got done eating it and that's why I'm smelling it. But that's definitely what it reminds me of. Second aroma is uh, pretty strange too, but if you've watched some of my reviews, it's definitely not unheard of or something that I've never smelled out of a bag of coffee, and that is motor oil, like actual automotive motor oil. Then you also have a really nice sweetness tied to kind of like a really dark cocoa. That is the least strong of the aromas out of this bag though. That's pretty interesting. All right, well, let's brew some of this up at the French press and see what it smells and tastes like in liquid form. Okay, so we have some of this, I forgot the name already, RVA Exclusive Blend. Uh, roasted up, French pressed, in the cup. Uh, let's see what it smells like in liquid form. You have a very sweet, very nutty aroma. If I had to narrow down the nutty, it's most like a nice sweet cashew. Kind of reminds me of like honey roasted cashews. The only other brewed aroma I'm getting is like a nice kind of sweet milk chocolatey aroma, but not like I describe in a lot of other coffees. There's a really interesting spice to it that kind of reminds me of if you were to have like a nice chocolatey drink and put some Tabasco in it. Like it specifically kind of has a Tabasco type of spice. So a little bit of hot sauce in that chocolate. That's interesting. All right, well, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. All right, well, for possibly the first time on this channel, the bag got it right with the main flavor. Uh, you can't see it from there, but it says rich toasted almond and spice. And toasted almond is absolutely the first flavor that I'm getting out of this coffee. Then there's a thick plant-like flavor that kind of reminds me of natural tobacco. For those of you who don't know that I have a cigar channel, uh, you'll know that I have a lot of experience with natural tobacco. That's what the plant-like flavor kind of reminds me of. Then there is an interesting faint spice that kind of reminds me and has a similar burn to red pepper. Now don't expect to buy this coffee and take a sip and think you're going to get some huge red pepper spice. It's really faint and really in the backdrop, 
but you also really don't get a lot of spice in too many coffees, at least not in the many coffees I've reviewed on this channel, so that's pretty cool. It adds an interesting dynamic to the uh, flavor profile. Very big body, rich, bold, thick finish. No bitterness, though, which is nice. If you like the darker, bolder styles of coffee, uh, kind of heavier, thicker flavors, then I think you'll really like this. If we're talking 1 to 10, I'd actually give it maybe a 7. If you like really chocolatey, complex, uh, fruity, citrusy, that kind of stuff, you're not going to get it here. So then this uh, coffee is just probably not in your wheelhouse at all. But like I said, if you like the darker, bolder, kind of heavier flavors, but without the harshness or bitterness, then it's a pretty good coffee. If you're that style of coffee drinker, then it's something I can recommend. If you enjoyed this review, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment if you've had it. If you want to support the channel and get some cool coffee related rewards, I have a Patreon account. It's a link at the top of the video description. You can check that out. And I will see you all at the next review.